Yo, what is up? Hope you're doing awesome. It's your boy, Zach Miller. For those of you watching, look at this amazingly terrible hair day. Yep, this, I'm just having a bad day. This is what this does to you. So as you're wondering, watching, the hair is from the hat. I'm going to call this a bad hair day. For those of you that are just listening to audio, I recommend coming over to watching this on video. Just go to facebook.com backslash the Zach Miller. Appreciate you guys being with me today. <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about age. I think age to a lot of people is a four letter word, a four letter cuss word. And the reason I believe that is because oftentimes we're all saying it over and over and over again. I'm too old to accomplish this. I'm too young to be able to accomplish that. I'm, I'm I, it's excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse. Yes, this is hat hair. This is an excuse. Like I could, I could literally do this and this would be an excuse, right? Look, you don't have to see it. Or you could just show it off and say, bam, boom goes the dynamite. I decided to show you the latter. But how, how often have you individually or you heard someone say that you cannot accomplish a specific task, a specific goal, a specific milestone. And the reason was because of your age. Now, the only thing that I can think of that actually should matter with age, I guess it's becoming president and that's 35 years old. I guess getting your driver's license, that's another thing. There's a couple of things you can drink at 18. You can get a reduced rate of your rental car at 25. Speaking of rental cars. Ooh, that transition was great. No phone call yesterday for those of you who have been paying attention about the Jeep. And I had called three times today and I finally got an answer to find out that the part that I was told last week was in hadn't arrived yet because it was on back order. And they didn't know when the Jeep was going to be fixed. Great customer service here, folks. Love it. But think about it. All too often, people are coming up with reasons or excuses as to why an event in their life cannot be accomplished. And oftentimes, the majority of times, those goals that you are trying to accomplish can happen whenever you want them to. Just put your mind over matter, right? That's what they say. Put your... Stop Stop giving yourself the age excuse, Right? And I remember I, I first thought of this, I was at an event two and a half weeks ago. And this guy's about 46 years old. And he's pitching me his idea for an app, I believe. I have this business app that I want to create. He didn't have that voice. I'm just creating a stupid voice. Sorry. And he was like, man, but you know, I'm older. I'm 46. This is harder. And I'm like, why? Why is it harder? He's like, well, I'm 46, man. It's just harder. And I'm like, I, I don't know that I believe that. I don't know that I believe that just because you're a certain age means that you can't do that said task, especially business. So if you actually look at business studies, most people who start a business are in their 20s or like 45 and older. And if you really look at that, it's because that 30 to 45, guess what's happening? They're having families, right? So when you're in your 20s, you're out of college. If you went to college, you're doing that whole thing. You're like, whatever, I'm going to start the business. I'm a risk taker. I'm awesome. And then you take this break and you're like, I love my family and I would never do anything to jeopardize them. So I'm not going to start a family because, or I'm not going to start our business because that's risky. And then you have like your 45 year olds who are like, it's midlife crisis. I got rid of my, uh, my family's fine. I'm going to start a business. Woo. I actually thought like in 2010, 2011, 2012, starting a business was like the new midlife crisis because people were like, I don't want to buy a car. I want to start a business. It's cool. And then they realized how, how hard it was. And they were like, Ooh, never mind. I'll buy the Corvette. This is awesome. 
right? But we allow age to dictate results. We allow age to inhibit the milestones that we're trying to accomplish. Now, I'm someone who people look at and are like, you're young-ish, I guess, right? I'm not as young as Justin, I'm not as old as Tim. But oftentimes people just constantly say, I can't do this said task. And I really want you guys to start questioning yourself when you say that. Why can't you do it? Is it because society says that, yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be able to do this? Which, honestly, I think is is quite wrong. I think, really, as long as, as long as you're of age to be able to do something, like, there are certain things that you probably are just not of age to, to do, right? Like, you probably shouldn't be driving at seven, Right? But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm like, I'm talking about accomplishing specific goals that you're trying to. And oftentimes people are just so mesmerized or so excuse filled that they don't even allow themselves to see the result because they knock themselves out of the opportunity, the candidacy, if you will, to get that result that they're looking for. And I don't know that I've actually ever used age as an excuse. And I mean that honestly. And maybe that's one of the main, maybe that's a good thing, right? Maybe that's a good, maybe it's a great reason as to why I've been able to not worry about that. But I think all too often people are sitting back saying, I can't do, I can't accomplish what I want to accomplish in life until, until I'm 90. And that's when I want, or like, I can't accomplish I can't retire until I'm 63 or 65 or whenever you're supposed to retire. I don't know, right? I've been thinking about that word a lot recently, retirement. I'll talk about that in a different video. I'm not going to come out and retire. Don't expect that. But I just think that we, we as a society set these boundaries, these requirements, these situations. And then oftentimes we put an age and attach it to it. And that age is usually a reason why we think we can't accomplish something like that. I feel like a preacher would say, like, you can accomplish whatever you want in life. Just make sure that you don't worry about how old you are or how young you are because that will affect you. Do you guys like voices? I don't really know why I do voices sometimes. Sorry. But... Get to get back to the story of this guy. So I'm 46 years old and I can't accomplish this because I'm 46, you know? Uh, and I'm like, that's a really bad attitude, man. And it's a really poor attitude. Some of my favorite people in the world are not only older than me, but significantly older than me, a decade or two or three decades older than me. Right. And then we get to this word success. And whenever someone, I, I did a talk when I was doing that series of talks, about two weeks ago, Someone asked me, so tell me about success. Some of, what are some of the businesses that are successful that, you know, you've worked with, whatever. And my response is always, you know, that's a really hard thing to talk about. Because the way that you expect, you, the way that you define success is very different than the way that I define success. To me, defining success is whatever that person or company's goal was, did we help them accomplish it? Or did we help someone not make a really big mistake? I remember a few years ago, uh, someone was uh, using our 1004 platform and realized after two months and just a couple of bucks that they did not want to start a business. And I was like, wow, because of me and my, my service, I was able to help this person not lose. To me, that is success. And oftentimes people talk about success as it has to be this big, shiny thing. Hallelujah. Big, shiny. This is, whoa, it's got to be as big as the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty. Whoa. But I think that's false, right? What is success to you? One of the first questions, I, whenever I'm meeting someone new, I'm like, you know, what is success to you? Like, what is what does a goal look like to you? And oftentimes, actually never does that ever, ever talk about age, right? So my, I, I had a couple, uh, we, we have a service called Sensei where I work directly with people, uh, one-on-one. -on -one, and I had a couple of those appointments 
I'm a doctor today, I guess. We had a couple of those meetings today. And I constantly ask the group of people that I'm meeting with or the individuals, I say, you know, what is success to you? Like what, not only like from a, um, a big scale of like, where do you want this business to be or the, the task that we're working on? But also what does it look like for me? Like how do I make, how do I gauge my help with you? How do I make sure that what, how I'm helping you is actually getting you successful in the, the metrics that you want? And what's interesting is it's never about age. Yet for some reason, a lot of people are like, if you want to be successful, you need to be 55. Drive a Tesla and have been a lawyer for the last 14 years, 34 years, and have read this many books. And to me, I just think that's a really poor way of addressing society, addressing what really is at hand. If you can accomplish it, who cares how old you are, right? I'm sure there's plenty of people that had to go through your standard educational system who could have been in college years before and you hear a handful of those stories but i don't know i just i just feel like when we talk about age it's usually like for an incredible feat or for the wrong reason like oh can't do this because i'm old oh can't do this because i'm too young or if someone does do it we're like oh oh my goodness this 104 year old man ran 100 yards oh <gasps> This three-year-old boy swim a 25 freestyle. Yeah. It shouldn't be shocking. These things happen. People put their minds to stuff and they want an action to happen and they fight for their right to party. What happens? Good things. So the moral stories don't allow your age to... In fact, your brain. Don't allow your age to infect or become detrimental to the success that you want. Don't allow society to tell you, well, you're not the right age, so you're not going to see the results that you want. All right? The same thing, the exact thing I'm talking about is me, right? Oh, Zach, you, you're in business, but you don't dress like a businessman. Who cares? Right? Don't allow the status quo theories not allow you to get to your goals when you want to sooner rather than later. Because if you start fighting for your right to party, aka going after the goals, milestones, big achievements that you want, who cares how old you are? Get to them sooner. So that you can accomplish the things that you really want. I haven't even said it. Welcome everyone to episode 47 of Zach Miller Live. The most originally named talk show, game show, show of shows. The granddaddy of them all. Whatever you want to call him. Zach Miller Live is here and in Technicolor. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I just made, I know it's not, I didn't make up that word, but I'm in color. I'm in audio. I'm in black and white, red and orange, blue and yellow, West Virginia colors, gold and blue, I guess is what they say. Gold and blue. I should know that. I was wrong of me. I apologize to my West Virginia alum there listening. But episode 47 of Zach Miller Live is telling you, don't allow status quo Stats, metrics, data points, people who say you can't do something because of your age or the way that you look or something silly like that, get rid of that out of your mindset and focus. I was talking to someone the other day and they were talking about Michael Phelps and he's like, I just stay in my lane. He's like, I don't worry about my competition. I just focus. I just focus. I just focus. And that's it. What do you want, baby? Go after it. What do I want? You know what I want. I want to be the majority owner of an amusement park. Why majority? Well, because you can buy shares in many amusement parks. And I did. And I have. And I will. I will continue. But you got to be majority. That's the real crazy goal. But staying in your lane and focusing on that stuff is just saying, don't worry about these outliers. Don't worry about this crap all the way in other places. It's a waste of time.
Most people are like, mm. like most people wouldn't come on and be like, oh, you're having such a bad hair day. I need to change it. Oftentimes I do put my hair on because my logo says it, but it still says it today and it's hat hair. I don't really like hats, but that's it. Episode 47. I don't know how to do numbers. We're about to be at 50. Ooh, 50. What would it be? The big five OB. It'll be the 10th. No, it won't be the 10th, but it'll be one of the fur nine, eighth, ninth, 10th, five dice Friday. That'll be, maybe we'll have balloons. Ooh, we should buy balloons for 50. Ooh. Hmm. I think I'm going to buy balloons for the 50th episode of Zack Miller Live, which is coming up Friday. And that'll be the end of week 10. Crazy to think, if my math is correct, that we're already there. But look, that sounds exciting. I'm going to buy balloons. Where do you even buy balloons? Are there balloon stores? Maybe I could do helium on air. Ooh. This could be a lot of fun. Okay, so for the 50th edition of Zack Miller Live, let me make sure that I can actually do this. Okay, so for the 50th edition of Zack Miller Live, I'm going to do balloons. Ooh, this is going to be glorious. I have to make sure that I can actually do this. Oh, yeah. So if you know where to get balloons, are there balloon stores? What like what? Because they don't have like Hallmark stores anymore. All that stuff closed. Do they still have Hallmark st stores? I think they've closed them all. I don't know. I will find a balloon store and we will have balloons galore. They'll pop up and I'll be like, whoa, maybe I'll pop a balloon. I'll definitely do some helium balloons. It's going to be amazing. Exactly. That's a great idea, Dave. Ask Dini. Dini, when you're listening to this, where do... <laughs> so Dini helps us run some events. She has a, um, a great business called Executive Events. This is so funny. She loves balloons. And so she'll help us. Oh, she'll help me find the balloons. This is going to be glorious. But maybe not for the 50th. Maybe it'll be for the 100th. No, we'll probably do it for the 50th too. It's going to be glorious. All right. Today, a new episode of 1004 show came out. Long form video and audio interviews with cool people, a.k.a. This time it's uh, a guy... And I'm working on this Medium post, too, to talk about it. And it's really kind of fun. And um, <clears throat> I guess I, I introduced him to this guy named Noah Kagan about a year ago. And this guy was going bald at the same time as Noah Kagan was going bald. And in the middle of the conversation with Chris, I say, what could the headline be for the show? And we talk about losing your hair and stuff like that. Obviously, I have not. Hopefully, I never do. But we talk about that. And so I think I'm going to... Give the headline something along the lines of Bald Man Receives Advice from Noah Kagan. He, he's given me approval. Noah hasn't, but this guy Chris Lane has. You just check it out. All you have to do is, I don't know, I'll post about it in the show notes, I suppose, or in the comments. I will do that, but check out that conversation. It's about an hour long, so when you're on your, your train rides, your metro rides, your uh what's it called the marta or the l or the s or the m or you're on a delta flight or wherever you're going your podcast check it out listen to it it's gonna be awesome to listen to we're almost at a, uh, episode 100 i think we're four more toward till we get to that it's amazing so we're almost 50 on this 100 on that Woo! it's gonna be crazy amy what's up it says party city mm, good idea I gotta find a party city it's gonna be amazing Thank you all for being here and participating in the greatest name show of all time. It's just my name with live at the end of it. I know it's super original. You guys are, you know, think it's it's this glorious thing where you're like, oh, what a what a novel name. I don't know where I stole it from. Ryan Seacrest, probably. Ryan Seacrest Live. Is there a show for that? I don't know. I just made it up. Anyway, appreciate you guys all being here today. Zach Miller Live episode 47 is just about in the bags. I'm going to link all the stuff that I just talked about. Definitely check out Chris's episode on the 1004 show. Super cool stuff. Super great stuff. Appreciate you guys being here today. I'm out. Bad hair day and all. Deuces.